What's up guys, I'm Kojak and what we're looking at is a spectating mode overhead shot of this brand new ignition map and right before right there, watch this. I don't know what's coming out of the sky, is that one of the Lokis coming down? But as you guys know this is going to be a remake of a MW2 map scrapyard and we are located in a launch test site in Florida. I don't think they tell you where, but we're going to start here at the end here by this uh, white truck and we're going to kind of take a spectating mode around the map, get a feel for it, where things are, how things go, the layouts, the pathways, and let's do it together like I said in previous videos for these. These are brand new maps. This is Ignition and I'm learning as you learn. Now we're going to start in here. It looks like we can go up this ladder and you'll have multiple floors you can go on. Looks quite confusing starting right starting off. Okay, let's go second floor. What do we got second floor? Opening there to shoot out, opening there to shoot out. I think this is going to be a good spot for snipers. You've got such a great line of sight right there. Also here, if you're laying down over the corner, you'll probably be able to get people off the doorway across there. Let's go up to the third level here, see what we can find. Here it looks like you can jump out, but again, another sniping paradise right here. Great on this side, on that side, down the middle. Another one here, another one here. So, yeah, three different levels. Two of them I'd be aware of snipers in these openings. Keep your eyes out. There is stuff going off everywhere. Where is that coming? Oh, look out. That is crazy. All right, we're going to go over this way. If you guys know Scrapyard, you guys know the layout of this map. It's pretty simple. Uh, we're going to come over here. This is where... Yep, yep. We both... We all know where we are. This is where one of the bombs was. You'll come out here. There'll be a little building here. Yep, there it is. A little bit of fence. I like what they did to it though. I love how they updated it. I liked the plane. I really liked the plane, but I really like this too. Alright, so you guys know this room. I, I don't even think I need to explain this if you guys play Scrapyard, but pretty much doorways and an open room. There'll probably be a bomb set in here for uh, search and rescue, search and destroy. It'll probably be like right here in this area somewhere. So we're going to go out this back door. Again, this is a very small map, just like Fog. Um, it's great, like I said before, to see these smaller maps come because it's something that we've all kind of wanted. We like Nuketown. It gets a little crazy sometimes because there's so many little pathways. But now we've got something that we're kind of familiar with, and it's not very big. So we can have a lot of one-on-one -on -one interactions with other players and enemies and really have fun not sitting in a corner and just kind of camping it out throughout the whole game. So, all right, we're going to go down in this room here. There should be stairs right here. Yep, of course there is. I don't think we're going to be able to get into this room here, but what do we have? We have what looks to be a oh, bunker destruction. Uh, United States kind of lit up. All little gadgets and doohickeys, paper everywhere, a little bit of chaos. But we're going to go up the stairs here. There'll probably be a little lookout point. Oh, we got some cameras. What do we have on the cameras? Nothing good. Nobody's here. Some windows here. I don't think that's going to be a big area you're going to have to worry about. I think what you're going to have to worry about is right here. And again, this is where I could snipe you, you could snipe me. It's going to be kind of the same all the way across. You'll see a straight pathway to the other sniping points higher up. All right, back over here. Yep, it's going to end right there. Uh, I see some people sitting over here. Uh, I believe in Scrapyard, this was one of the places you sit. You sit over here, there was rocks here and everything. You sit here. Uh, we're going to go downstairs in just a minute, but we're going to first head over to this building here. Used to have a truck in it, now has what looks to be parts of a rocket. And then, I mean, this is just pretty much walk straight through. I cannot wait to see this go off, but we're going to go check that out in a second and see how that's going to play out for us. Okay, there was a, what, a semi right here before. Very familiar. So let's just let's just go in here, make sure there's nothing special in here. Oh, there is. Now we get to go underground, and that's probably what we saw in that bunker. Oops, I missed. That's probably what we saw in that bunker before. Underground. Okay, there is the rocket. This is what's going to go off when you get what's equivalent to the chem strike on Strike Zone, where this is going to go off. It's going to be the Grim Reaper symbol when you get a care package. This will go off, fill this area with fire. It'll shoot out here. It'll shoot out this way, this way. This way, I mean, there is no escaping it if you're anywhere in this area when that gets uh, blown up. So we can go out this way. So that's a straight shot through. You also have a second level here, which is just the main level. Let's make sure we know where this bunker goes. Go down the stairs. 
we're going to take a right and we end up right in here now is this this kind of a hint of extinction are these maturing eggs from the aliens kind of looks like it where did these come from a little different to see on this kind of a map so i hope that uh we see maybe that tie in to more of the multiplayer maps than just an extinction mode i was always saying that they should have a mode where uh in, like in black ops 2 where you could play zombies but then you have zombies also you have like a mode where they're walking around not very quickly more like just like the walking dead style and you have to fight off zombies while you're trying to fight other people so they might end up giving your position away and you're not going to be able to camp as easily. you got to watch your back every time. And it's just another way to die. Uh, in here, this used to be a plane. Now it's just a little... I don't even know what this is. Let's, uh, what, a container? A little uh, bunker area. But let's get uh, one more. And there's the rocket. I believe that's probably going to end up going off eventually up through the ceiling, I guess. There's another bird. So let's just get a good overlook of that. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped out in the layout of the map if you don't know Scrapyard. Kind of gives you the ins and the outs. Like I said, the pathways, the sniping areas. I think a lot of it's going to be in the middle, down below. That's going to be the main part you're going to have to watch out for with people camping. And uh, a lot of the action is going to be right there in the middle, I think. So if you can get that nuclear strike where that thing goes off, I think you're going to get a good amount of kills. But... Again, I'm Kojak. If you like what you saw here today, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and possibly share this on Twitter, Facebook, however you feel fit to share. And also, if you want to see some of the other maps, go ahead and click on the link below. It'll take you to a playlist where that playlist will have any new information from these that I find, whether it's Easter eggs or map walkthroughs or um, even some of the care packages when I get them, the weapons. But... Thank you guys, I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed.